They will come to visit you every night and hum you good night. And if you have slept in the middle, they will wake you up by biting you. Wait, what? Who are we talking about? Mosquitoes are possibly the most hated insect or creature in the whole universe. Was that enough introduction? Well, what if there were no mosquitoes in this world? It may not be the same place that we live in now. Let's see why. Mosquitoes have been labeled the deadliest animal in the world due to their constant spread of deadly diseases such as malaria, which caused the death of an estimated 429,000 people in 2015. According to the World Health Organization, which made the assessment, over half of the world is at risk of the disease. In some places, mosquitoes are a major problem beyond what we can possibly imagine. Mosquitoes infect more people than any other animal on the planet, and a simple mosquito bite puts half of the human race in danger of catching a disease. Malaria, dengue fever, fever, yellow fever, you name it. It isn't just about us humans. Livestock and other animals have also been affected by it. There are about 3,500 mosquito species known, yet only a few of them are harmful to our health. Malaria, for example, is carried by the Anopheles gambii mosquito. Aedes aegypti arrived in the United States on slave ships, transmitting yellow fever and Zika. Half of the global population is at risk of a mosquito-borne disease, says Francis Hawkes from the National Resource Institute at the University of Greenwich. They have had an untold impact on human misery. Children would be healthier, which would result in fewer absences from school. Other high-priority health issues could be prioritized using public health funding. The strain on healthcare systems would be eased. Countries may be able to make up for the loss of gross domestic product caused by malaria. Everything looks perfect in a place without these humming insects, right? Mosquitoes, believe it or not, are possible pollinators. In the real world, pure flower nectar, not blood, is mosquitoes' principal food source. Mosquitoes, like bees and butterflies, transport pollen from flower to bloom while feeding on nectar, fertilizing plants and helping them form and proliferate seeds. Mosquito pollination has been documented since the 19th century. Mosquito pollination is difficult to see since most mosquitoes visit flowers close to or after dusk, and the human presence distracts mosquitoes from neighboring blooms. During the short growing season in the Arctic, plants rely on large swarms of nectar-hungry insects for pollination. Mosquitoes absorb plant sugar that has been digested by other insects, which is less significant ecologically than pollination. Aphids and other plant-sucking insects emit honeydew, a sugary waste product that many insects, including mosquitoes, use as a food source. However, honeydew is difficult to discover in the environment. Mosquitoes have triumphed over this challenge by detecting it through the odors released by bacteria that reside in honeydew. Mosquito larvae feed on microorganisms that degrade decomposing plant material, such as algae and bacteria. Larval mosquitoes aid in aquatic food chains by providing food for many predators, such as fish and birds. In Alaska alone, mosquito biomass has been estimated to exceed 96 million pounds. While the role of mosquito nutrient cycling in plant development and other ecosystem activities has not been explored, the volume of biomass involved suggests that it may be significant. Most of you already know that only female mosquitoes suck blood. A female mosquito only seeks a blood meal for nourishment when she lays eggs. Males do not bite and simply feast on flower nectar. Yeah, lads out there might be saying always men are harmless. Aside from pollination, mosquitoes play a vital role in the food chain, acting as essential prey in flying adults and aqueous larval forms for various other animals. These animals include dragonflies, turtles, bats, and birds, notably hummingbirds, which depend on small flying creatures such as spiders and insects as their main source of nourishment. Hence, mosquitoes, like all other creatures, serve a function and play an ecological role despite our dislike for them.
According to Phil Lunibos, an entomologist at the University of Florida, whatever insect emerges to replace mosquitoes might be equally, if not more, undesirable from a public health standpoint. This means mosquitoes do duties like pollination and being in the food chain and all. But mosquitoes are not an irreplaceable loss, as per research. But it is about nature. Once the extinction happens, new changes may arise. Who knows? And these changes can be adverse for the existing being. However, as we talked about these diseases, eliminating a species is a philosophical as well as a scientific matter. Some would argue that purposely eradicating a species that threatens humans is completely immoral, given that people pose a threat to so many other species. One argument against it is that eliminating an entire species would be morally wrong, that is, ethically wrong. What do you think? But we have solutions. More clearly speaking, we have coexistential solutions. Around the world, novel approaches to mosquito control are being investigated. Scientists at Kew Gardens in London are working on a sensor that can distinguish each species of mosquito based on its individual wing beat. They intend to provide wearable acoustic detectors to villages in rural Indonesia in order to track disease-carrying mosquitoes. This would aid in the management of future outbreaks. Meanwhile, researchers at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine have discovered how female mosquitoes are drawn drawn to certain body scents, offering the prospect of more efficient repellents. A world without mosquitoes might be a dream place, only if it is fiction. In the real world, every single creature, from single-celled algae to huge marine creatures, has a purpose to serve, and directly or indirectly, we are all interlinked. Yes, we all are together in this, but does this mean we have to let the insects roam around in our homes? Definitely not. We have to take care of our and our our loved one's health. So, if you spot a mosquito inside your territory, it's better to get rid of them. Did you enjoy this video? Then give us a thumbs up. Have any of you ever contracted a disease spread by mosquitoes? Also comment on some fun stories that you can relate to mosquitoes. See you the next day. Till then, stay healthy and don't let a mosquito bite you. Bye!